I mean, one of the interesting things about COVID-19 is as time goes on, we're learning more and more about the disease. You remember three months ago when the disease started, everybody was worried about the pulmonary disease and we were going to run out of ventilators. And, you know, the pul there's no question the pulmonary disease is a big deal. But we've kind of figured that out. We turns out we're not going to run out of ventilators. And now, then suddenly everybody was worried about running out of enough dialysis machines because it turned out that renal failure, renal failure was the big problem. And then about a month ago, suddenly the coagulopathy or the problems with uh, forming abnormal clots became a big, you know, concern. And that is, you know, some of it was stimulated by a famous Broadway actor ended up with an, an, a young guy ended up with an amputation due to a complication to uh, an embolus from COVID-19. And then in the last week, suddenly we're now worried about kids who are presenting with the systemic inflammatory uh, syndrome related, most likely related to a previous exposure to COVID-19. I mean, to know COVID-19 is to know medicine. So it is a very complex disease. And I think that we in biopharma need to kind of back away and say, ooh, 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 the lungs are important, but let's really talk about treating the disease of COVID-19, not just the symptoms of COVID-19, which are, and in, in the dramatic symptom is the patient who ends up in the ICU intubated with ARDS. So it's, it's um, you know, our approach is we've got some very interesting ideas and data about you know, one of the advantages of targeting soluble TNF, which is the bad TNF, we inhibit the ability of cells to get out of the blood vessel into the tissues where they cause their damage. We have effects on the coagulopathy. So we're, we're really messing with a lot more of the pathology of the disease. And when we get into the clinic, we're going to study all this and see if we can make a difference in patients' lives.